Hi guys, welcome to GUI AI. Today we are looking at how to use our Compare AI Image Generator. Now this is the tool that I love and it's really exciting. It allows you to access all the interesting uh, AI Image Generator tools across, uh, across the internet and use them all in one simple, super simple, easy to use tool. So let's get started with it. So as usual, we go to the explore section of GUI AI and you'll find that it says compare AI image and data. I've already opened it with a simple example uh, as part of the BF, uh, Be Fantastic video bot series. We've been trying to make these very beautiful avatars which are, uh, which are sort of underwater and uh, look a bit like humans but also have uh, sort of sea creature kind of existences. So we've got some really lovely models here. Uh, you can select from uh, as many or as few of them. Uh, so for this particular example, I'm showing you a fair number of them, which includes Stable Diffusion uh, 2.1, DALI, Open Journey and Open Journey version 2, which are kind of like Mid Journey, uh, Analog Diffusion and Dreamlike Photoreal. So the last two uh, specifically look wonderful for portraits. So I've given a description. Now, uh, the describing the prompting as it is called for image generators specifically those that work with stable diffusion is very simple you start with a medium so a photograph or a painting or a portrait photo uh, of the particular subject give some details and then say what style you would like and then add some more uh, features as as the main part the main chunk of the prompt is completed so here I'm going to hit submit and it says a photo portrait of a soft and friendly non-binary humanoid with fish scales on their skin and luminescent corals growing around them. There's cinematic lighting, soft beauty filter, bokeh effect with seaweed in the background. Make it look 4K, 8K HDR kind of images. Now, I don't know what's going to turn up because these images from were from a previous prompt which was here and I can show you that prompt. So this is a little bit less detailed. It just says, okay, uh, it's fish scales and corals and just cinematic lighting. So we'll hit submit now and it's going to give us one image of each. All right, so some images have started to turn up. The first one is from Stable Diffusion. Second is from Dali. We have one from Open Journey. Open Journey V2 kind of looks similar. Okay, analog diffusion didn't give us anything. And dreamlike. Right, so these look really beautiful. And you'll notice that each of them have their own style and own way of like developing the image so what's important is that you find the model that best suits your style and then you work with it um, so we'll just hit uh, regenerate once and while it's generating a new set of images with the same prompt and the same models we'll see more about the settings so I'm going to hit regenerate so it's going to give me some more images with exactly all of the same settings there you go so now it started to emerge with a totally different set of images with the absolutely the same prompt. So now as we start learning how to prompt, we also learn, okay, what's working, what's not working, how can we make it work for us based on the image that we want to try and generate. Ideally, it works best if you like quickly pick the style that you prefer and then move forward with it. So I'm kind of enjoying the way that Dreamlike is giving these images. Uh, the last one was more interesting, but this one with the sweater is also okay. So I'm going to uh, ditch all the others for this exercise, which I can just do by crossing out the selected models. And then I'm just going to go look a little bit into the settings. So here you have something called negative settings. So this allows you to ensure that your images don't have too many fingers, multiple heads and all of those kind of things. Uh, 
uh, and you can choose to keep these or you can also say that no hey i want all of those things maybe my character looks uh, like strange and and uh, mystical and fantastical and i don't want all of these negative prompts to be there you can ask for about four outputs there's a sense of quality how detailed that image should look uh, 50 really works well but uh, maybe we try to take it up to 80 just to see you can change the width and the height and now uh, what is very interesting here is called artistic pressure artistic pressure is basically how creatively and how uh, how much in detail the, the AI is accepting your prompt so 7 is usually a value that people use but I've also observed that in some cases going up to 12 or 14 can give really nice results as well. So I don't know what's going to happen here, but we'll definitely give it a try. The other thing that is very important I feel in negative prompts, which is missing here, is to say out of frame. So remember we had that image where it was getting cut out a little bit, I think from stable diffusion. So now that hopefully will not happen. I'm going to try for say two outputs maybe this time just for you to get a sense. And I don't want them to be square anymore. I want them to be a little bit elongated. So I'm going to turn down the width a little bit and let them be long images. Sorry, I think I hit this by mistake. And I'm going to hit submit now. So there you go. Um, it's given images which look actually a bit more fashionable than they do like... Uh, sea creatures so maybe we we'll, uh, keep the keep the quality still a bit high but perhaps like turn down the distortion back to 7 uh, and then see what happens maybe we need something else here like maybe we need to remove all of these things because it's probably like it wants the skin to be smooth and nice which we don't want we want fish scales for skin and things like additional arms, two heads, two, we'll remove all of this. Uh, so let's see then what happens once we do that. Yes, I think that really made a difference to remove the prompt. Uh, I'm going to just, for just for my curiosity, turn this back up a little bit and then run it once again. Nice, so it's started giving some interesting results. I can play around with this, see what I want to do. And if I just click on the image, it will give me the biggest size that's, that it's rendered in. And I can save this and do whatever I like with it. Uh, particularly use it in our video bots, which also work really nicely and very interestingly. Alright, so if you have any questions, let us know uh, at support at GUI.ai or join our Discord and learn more about what we are up to. Thank you.